So I think I've just discovered my new favorite VST instruments. And if like me, you love sounds that have been processed with old analog hardware to give them the warmth and imperfections that you get from the analog gear, as well as some tools for really great creative sound design and adjustability, then this video is definitely for you. I've got three VSTs to talk about in this video. I'm demonstrating them in the background now. They're by a company called Elementary Sound, who I've only personally recently discovered. They've got a sort of similar aesthetic to felt instruments, but each of their VSTs here have got their own unique sound and adjustability, and they're all incredibly usable. So from what I can tell, they've only been sort of selling these instruments for about a year, and one of these VSTs only came out two weeks ago. So fresh on the mark with this one, and they are definitely a company to look out for. So we have Romina 1, which is a sample guitar, Romina 2, which is a sample Fender jazz bass, and Tyna, which is a Rhodes plugin. But what makes these really special is firstly how well they're sampled. You can really hear the warmth and depth of tone in each of these VSTs. And that alone has already rocketed them to some of my favorite instruments to use in such a short time. But on top of that, there's also the added depth of granular synthesis and adjustability that you get from these, which is just fantastic. So what I'm gonna do now is just delve quickly into the individual VSTs, and then I'm gonna use them to make a beat out of. So here is the first VST. So quick disclaimer before I break these down, I'm not in any way affiliated with Elementary Sounds, I just discovered these recently, thought they sounded amazing, so I'm making a video about them. I'm going to kick it off by talking about Romina 1, which is their electric guitar plugin, and you can tell just straight out of the box. It's got a really nice, warm, and sort of almost mysterious tone. You can hear that there's been a lot of processing going on, it's gone through analog gear and equipment. So it's just got a nice tone straight away. So this is what the interface looks like. And there's various things you can control. You've got C and D here, which are different mics. You've got P, which is the pedal board. L, which is for the line input. A and R for attack and release. So you can make more of a sort of pad sound. Or just keep it sharp and snappy. R for release. And then you've got ST, which is sort of like the airy sound that you can blend in and TR, which is like the uh, fret noise. So if I have that on, you can hear the fret squeaks. If you want them in there as well. You've also got these quick EQ notch filters. So you've got a notch here and a low cut, which cuts out just some of the muddiness. If you want a brighter and clearer sound, you can blend in the warm dial, add in some saturation, blend in some compression. And they've also got echo and space, which is their delay and reverb options, but I personally usually like to use uh, my own VSTs instead, which is why I've got spaced out on here as well. But even without spaced out, they've got this crazy thing over here. So you can use your mouse and sort of drag it up, or you can also use the modulation wheel, which is what I was doing in the introduction. So each of the VSTs have their own effects that happen, when you mess with this, but this is what it sounds like if you start dialing it in with guitar. So there's all sorts of things going on there. You've got like delays, uh, distortion, reverses that blend in. There's just a lot of granular sort of synthesis going on. It sounds fantastic. And it's really nice to mess about with, especially on the Tyana as well, which I'll talk about in a minute. So yeah, that's a quick overview of the guitar. Also, if you click on the name here, you can change some different presets. So there's things like harmonics. Which sound amazing. And there's not many VSTs that do stuff like that. You've also got a sort of like random notes generator, like with some Spitfire stuff. Which can give a more sort of chaotic feel. And there's just, yeah, there's other patches to dig through, but I'm not going to go into everything today. So yeah, that is a quick overview of Romina 1. Now on to Romina 2, which is the Vintage Fender Jazz Bass. So they've all got similar interfaces. This is Romina 2. And this is what it sounds like out the box. I think I'll definitely be picking up my actual P bass. Less now I've got this. So that's just the sustain patch that you get initially. 
Again, you've got attack, release, fret noise, air, and as well as mic control and amp control. And again, similar settings all around on the echoes, the EQs, warmth, etc. And then with their um, modulation effects, it's a little bit more sort of lo-fi on this. It's got more of like a tape wobble. I really like this one. It could be a great way of adding a bit more interesting texture to your bass lines. I'll definitely be blending this on top of my usual bass. So this one sounds absolutely amazing. Again, there's a couple more sort of presets you can mess with. You've got a muted and a harmonics. And often these have got different effects when you modulate it. amazing amazing tone on this again and then the final one is the Tyna, which is the most recent release and it's probably my favorite of the three so this is the first preset that you'll get and it's just sort of the uh bog standard sustain roads patch without any crazy effects on just yet and i really love the character it's got it's got mechanical noises it's got such a warmth to it and it's very clean as well even in the lower register Mix-wise, it's been very well put together. And I know this is now going to be just my go-to Rhodes piano. So on the interface here, we've got RV and AC, which are both different mics. DI, which is the DI input, and RO, which is the room mic. And then you've got an attack and release. ST, the sort of air noise again, and KE, which is your sort of key noise, mechanical noise. which makes this feel so natural and sort of organic. Really love that. Again, you've got some EQ notches there and you've got the pedal board, a noise input and a compressor as well as the effects. And the thing that's special about this one is the modulation that you get with it. So if I play a chord here and add some modulation, it adds reverse textures and sort of like a yarn delay, which you can both edit here. So you can take out the yarn element of it. Just have the reverses. Or you can do the opposite and just have the yarn. I really love this effect. It's gonna be something that I use a lot, I can tell already. And then with these, it works really well having a sort of pad sound, so if you increase the attack, get a really nice pad sound a lot of character and then if you go onto the other preset which is the stylized sustain you do get a different road sound a little bit more distorted sort of dreamy sounding and you get a different feature on the modulation so it's more sort of a chorus a pitch shift effect so yeah that is Tyna. hopefully i'm saying the names right on these are probably not but uh yeah really nice Rhodes instrument so now what i'm going to do is put a few of these together and make a little bit of a beat out of them
so yeah that about sums up this week's video please do let me know in the comments down below what you thought of the video if you'd like the vsts are you going to get them i think there is well there is a few bundles you can get i think you can get the two guitars as a bundle or you can get what i did and get all three as a bundle i think it was about 100 euros maybe 88 pounds i want to say um so yeah really good value for what you're getting love these vsts definitely gonna be using them more uh, so yeah thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time